Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Innal hamdalillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udzu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina. Man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil fala hadiya lahu wa ashhadu an la ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan 'abduhu wa rasuluhu ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqullaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun ya ayyuhan nas attaqu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum min nafsin wahida wa khalaqa minha zawjaha wa batha minhuma rijalan kathiran wa nisaa وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَقُولُوا قَوْلًا سَدِيدًا يُصْلِحْ لَكُمْ أَعْمَالَكُمْ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا أَمَّا بَعْدُ فَإِنَّ أَصْدَقَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابُ اللَّهِ وَأَحْسَنَ الْهَدْيِ هَدْيُ مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ وَشَرُّ الْأُمُورِ مُحْدَثَاتُهَا وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار. Indeed and surely all praises for Allah سبحانه وتعالى. So we, mashallah, we praise Him. Alhamdulillah, and we are ones who are praise Him more than anyone else. I mean, everyone should be in the praise of Allah. But to stick with this and to be with it, mashallah, this final program that we are going to have today, inshallah. For this session, so it will be officially finished with the session. We have to praise Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala extensively for this majestic honor that He has blessed us with. And if you had completed this, Alhamdulillah, know that, Mashallah, you know you are you have been chosen for something that is really special because everything happens by Allah's will, and Allah has built it that you be here and you. Continue with this and you'll be at the end of all of this. Inshallah, we hope that this is going to be beneficial for you in uh, this world. And that, inshallah, that Ramadan is coming and at this, we hope that you to spend a lot of time revising every single video that we did. Go it over, you know, now that you don't really have to study any new lessons, so to speak. Inshallah, go them over, go them over until you get everything sorted out. Because we will have like three months, inshallah. We have this month, next month, and the month of Ramadan, inshallah, before we start back again. And that is a real tremendous um, blessing, inshallah, to really get things sorted out. First things first, inshallah, by now you should be able to translate this. Okay? Inna alhamdu, inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu, wa nasta'inuhu, wa nasta'khfiru. So can you start writing, inshallah? Get a book, a pen, or in your head, see if you have it sorted out. But I prefer you to write it so you would know. I'm going to read it slowly now, right? The translation, I'm going to go through it slowly. Indeed, see, see if you have that. Indeed, the praise, or what is even better here, is all the praise. All the praise, because the Alif and Lamb make it universal. All praise, indeed all praise, Lillah, is for Allah. This here is a Jumlatul Ismiya, Alhamdulillah. It means all praise is for Allah. So indeed all praise, or all the praise is for Allah. Because the Lamb here means for. Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'khfiru. Write that out. So we praise Him. Right, the ha here runs back to Allah. It returns to Allah. Okay, we praise Him and we seek His help. Goes back to Allah again. When astaghfiru, and we seek His forgiveness, and we seek na'udhu means we seek protection. Na'udhu, the noon here we did for al mudari All of this here, na'maduhu, when astainuhu. When astaghfiru, when a'udh, they all mean we. So write, inshallah, write the meanings of Qudbat al Haja, inshallah, please. Please write it in, inshallah. It's going to be very 
nice, inshallah, at the end of all of this, I mean, you would know exactly what you know in relation to this khutbah. So, and we seek protection of Allah, or the protection with Allah, na'udhu billahi min shururi, from the evils. Because madaf, madafun ilayhi, shururi and fusina, it is um, the evils, okay, of Mudaf Mudafun Ilay indicates of right of Anfusina. Nafs is one nafs, Anfus is plural. From the evils of ourselves. And from min means from Sayyat means bad or evil. Right? The evil of the na here is our amal. Amalina means our actions. So from our evil actions. Uh, here, and remember we are talking about the heart. We are dealing with heart now, right, a lot. And I think basically now you can appreciate the value of this statement now, right? Min shururi and fusina, from uh, from the evil of our hearts and from the bad actions that we do with our bodies. You understand? And as I emphasize in the the class on ibadah the actions of the hearts are more dangerous and more serious and more important for us to pay attention to inshallah in this week's class we're still going to be going to do something else on it inshallah we get we would start with fasting too because we're going to divide it inshallah uh, the, the session into two sessions now especially that um saturday night session inshallah and we're going to start a little later too because um, I think the time in America is going back, so we'll start at maybe uh, 4 o'clock. It will be like 12 o'clock here for me, but inshallah, that's okay. Um, we will start it at that time, so that inshallah, you can really um, sort yourself out with it. But in this particular issue, you can see that we are seeking protection. We are seeking protection first from the from ourselves from the evils of ourselves because as we said the, the heart is the king and the, the body parts are the that does the other actions are the troops so if the king is good if the king has no shuru in it then there will be no sayyat in your amal then the prophet says translate it please whosoever Whosoever, Yahdi Allah is the fa'il here. Yahdi Allah who? Allah guides him. Fala mudillala. Then there is absolutely, and I want you to put in that word, la mudillala, because there's la nafil al jins. Then there's absolutely no misguider for him. Wa may yudlil, and whosoever he misguides or he leaves astray. Then there is absolutely no guide for him. And I witness, this is right? for the mutakallim. And I witness, I testify to the fact that there is absolutely no ilah, no deity worthy of worship except Allah alone or we can say there is absolutely no true deity except Allah because every other deity is false okay la ma'abud there is no deity worthy of worship no 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 deity should be worshiped truthfully illa Allah or deserves worship truthfully illa Allah only Allah truly deserves worship everything else that is worship is an incorrect worship. He alone deserves all forms of worship. <clears throat> He's alone, wahdahu, la sharika la. Absolutely no partners for him. And ashhadu, I witness that surely, anna, surely Muhammadan abduhu wa rasul, rasuluhu. Muhammadan is his abd and his messenger. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu taqullah. Write that up. 
you should know the meaning of taqwa by now. O oh, you who have believed, I am a news past tense, right? It taqullah, fear your Lord. With the correct taqwa, haqqa tuqatihi, with the correct taqwa, with the correct fear, or guard yourself against Allah's prohibitions and do what is right. This is the best translation because taqwa indicates doing the right things and keeping away from the evil. A wiqaya is something that is like a barrier. It's like a barrier. It sets up a barrier between yourself and something else. So what you want to do is to set up a barrier between yourself and your bad deeds. You don't want to have any bad deeds or as little bad deeds as possible because it is impossible not to have bad deeds. We are, always, we are all going to sin. That is the reality. Nobody is going to be without sin. But, inshallah, the most important issue is that in sinning, you can recognize it and you can um, you can make tawbah immediately. So this is, a, this, is a, this, is a, this is one of the greatest bounties of Allah because brothers and sisters always try to be in tawbah, always try to be grateful to Allah. Try to recognize his bounties on you. Try to. I mean, you know, always think about it. It is crucial. Look, I mean, does that ayah, ya ayyuhal ladhina amat haqqa tuqatihi. I mean, in that ayah by itself, wala tamutunna illa wa antu muslimun. It's an amazing ayah. Right? Just that ayah, just for that one ayah, you shouldn't stop thanking Allah because there is the essence of life. That is the essence of life for this world and the hereafter. Because Allah says, make sure that you have taqwa for Allah that is the correct taqwa, the correct fear, the correct guarding, the correct protection of yourself from your evil deeds and doing only what Allah commands in the good deeds. And if you don't do it, if you fall short by any chance, you make tawbah to Allah. You turn in forgiveness to Allah. You turn in forgiveness to the one who forgives you. Right? And then he says, And do not die. Make sure. Be on your guard in relation to how you live. Be on your guard in relation to how you live. That's what he's telling you. He's talking about death, but it is really talking about life. It is talking about, is dealing with your life in the hereafter. It is dealing with your life in the hereafter. Make sure you live as a Muslim so that you would live in Jannah. Basically, that's what it is. And do not die. Make sure that you do not die. Except that you are submitting fully to His will. This is the essence of life. This is the true essence and the true secret of life. Live as a Muslim so you will die as a Muslim. Inshallah. Then Allah says, Ya ayyuhal nasu taku rabbakum. Allah is more general now. Okay? Because He's talking in a more general sense and it is a very important important address. Okay? Ya ayyuhal nasu taku rabbakum. O mankind. O mankind, fear your Lord who created you from one nafs. In nafsin wahida. Of one soul. Wa khalaqa min haza wujaha. And He created from that one soul, one a human being, one creation, he created its zawj, its partner, his wife, right? He took out in a rib bone from Adam alayhi salam and created from him, from, from, from that rib bone, Adam's wife alayhi salam. وَبَثَّ مِنْهُمَا رِجَالٍ كَثِيرًا وَنِسَاءً And he spread forth. Batha means to spread out. Spread out minhuma from the two of them, many men and women. وَاتَّقُوا الله. So, Fear Allah. Be on your guard. Always keep your duties to Allah from whom you ask one another in relation to. And fear Allah in relation to the arham, the wounds, the womb, your family ties. And remember, inna Allah kana alaykum raqiba. Indeed, Allah is over you a raqib, one who is monitoring you and assessing you. He hears what you say. He sees you. Your every action is being monitored. Total monitoring. 24-7 monitoring. Anytime you're up, 
you are in an uncomfortable state, you are being monitored, you are being checked. Allah is checking. Allah never sleeps. He hears every sound. He knows everything. There is nothing that you can hide from Him. So He's a Raqib. He is an He is over you, a watcher. Okay. So be careful. Let us be careful. Yeah, Again, O you who have believed. Fear Allah, be on your guard in relation to your duties to Allah. And say a straight, وَقُولُوا And say all of you a straight word, a kawlat is salid, an upright word. Say the truth always. And if you have taqwa for Allah, you're always conscious of your duties to Him. And you speak what is true. You speak what is upright. يُسْلِحْ لَكُمْ أَعْمَالَكُمْ He is going to for, correct for you. Aslaha yuslihu. He's going to correct lakum for you all. A'malakum. Your actions. Your bad actions is going to now be corrected. Yubaddilullah sayyatihim hasana. Allah is going to exchange. Baddala yubaddilu means exchange their bad actions and make them good actions. Allah Akbar. What a generous, bountiful, majestic, honorable Lord we have. That he wants so much to forgive us. He loves people who repent. Do you know the story of the person who um, the Prophet ﷺ explains? There was a man who was traveling in a desert. And was traveling in this desert, he lay down to rest. And when lying down to rest, his camel wandered, wandered away. When he awoke, he could not see the camel anymore. So this is his world. Can you imagine? Your entire world being taken away from you. It's not an easy thing. He's stranded in the middle of the desert and he doesn't know what to do. So he went and he went and he searched and he searched and he searched his water, his food, his entire property is on this camel. And he searched and he didn't find it. So he came back and he lay down where where he left the camel in the first place. When he awoke, he saw the camel standing over his head, uh, over him, right? So he was like, I mean, about uh, uh, just behind, where he just where he left it, like. So he said, listen to what he said, because of his his extreme happiness. Allahumma anta abdi wa ana rabbu. Oh Allah. Uh, you are my slave and I am your Lord. Oh. Can you imagine it? Out of his happiness, he made a mistake. Big mistake. This is the most amazing ship that you could think of. But the Prophet says that Allah is more happy with the repentance of a person than this man who lost his camel in this kind of a situation. And he is so happy after he found it out that he made this big, giant mistake. So brothers and sisters, repent. Repent and repent. Tobu ilallah. Repent to Allah. Repent. You, you and me are sinning by night and by day. Prophet Hassan says that. Son of Adam sins by night and by day. But the best of you is the tawab, is the one who turns back. So, <clears throat> is the one who turns back to him and repent to him. Right? So he's going to, if you have taqwa for him if you are conscious of him at all times. This is what you have to be, brothers and sisters. You have to always have the consciousness of, consciousness of Allah in your hearts. And you have to always be willing to say what is true and upright. And Allah will correct for you your works and forgive you your sins. And whosoever obeys Allah and his messenger, he had indeed, he would have indeed, Faza, Fawzan, Azimah, would have indeed have the greatest success. So, so what you can do if you didn't do well or you didn't, you're not doing it. Not writing it. Go back and translate this entire khutbah. Uh, you have a printout of it at the beginning of the book. Go back and sit down and translate it. فَإِنَّ أَصْدَقَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابُ اللَّهِ And after that, be sure that indeed the most truthful speech, أَصْدَقَ الْحَدِيثِ أَصْدَقْ means truthful. كِتَابُ اللَّهِ is the book of Allah. وَحَسَنَ الْحَجِي And the best guidance is the guidance of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. And the worst affairs, Sharr al-Umuri, is muhdathatuha, are the new introduced affairs into the deen, because that is what is bid'ah. 
and every muhdatha, every new introduction is a bid'ah, is an innovation, and every innovation is dalal, is misguidance, and every misguidance is in the fire of hell. So, how did you do? If you're doing fair, alhamdulillah, you're good, inshallah, but it means you have work to do. Brothers and sisters, don't play with this language. Don't shortchange it. Don't be, don't be lazy with regards to it. You have to spend time with it. Spend time. Spend time. Spend time. <clears throat> you have to spend time to memorize. People complain about their bad memory. There is nothing like bad memory. There is nothing like bad memory. It is our lack of spending time. We have to cut back some of those other activities in our lives and put this inside. This is going to benefit our Ramadan. So, inshallah, pay attention. Okay? Test. There are two types of sentences. Answer. Right? al jumlatul insha'iyya wal jumlatul khabariyya and the jumlatul khabariyya falls into two categories al jumlatul fi'aliyya tu wal jumlatul ismiyya tu is this true or false? okay anyhow it is true right? so there are two types of sentences al jumlatul insha'iyya al jumlatul khabariyya wal khabariyya al jumlatul khabariyya fall into two categories, al-jumlatul fi'aliyya or al-jumlatul ismiyya. This is true. Every sentence that begins with a verb, etc., as fi'al, is called a nominal sentence. Al-jumlatul ismiyya. This should not be here, this jumlatul, this etc. Every sentence that begins with a verb, fi'al, is called a nominal sentence. Al-jumlatul ismiyya. Is this true or false? It is al jumlatul fi'aliyya. It is B. It is false. It's called jumlatul fi'aliyya. Third question. Al jumlatul insha'iyya falls into 10 different categories. True or false? Like that, right? So al jumlatul insha'iyya falls into 10 different categories. So sometimes the jumlatul insha'iyya can be if a jumlatul fi'aliyya in regular circumstances. Right? Like, for example, idrib hit, right? And it can be a jumlatul ismiya too. Um, it can be a jumlatul ismiya, but when we divide it like this, we put it in khabariya because we know khabariya means it, it, it has the ability to carry, to be truthful or a lie. That is what the jumlatul khabariya indicates, that it has the ability for that sentence to carry a truth or a lie in it. As for a jumlatul insha'iyya, um, there is no way that it can carry true or lie. It is just an expression. Like, for example, if I say, um, idrib, there is no truth or lie in that, right? Hit, hit him, or hit idrib, right? It, there is no way that that, 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 that that has any kind of um, true or lie in it. It's a command that did not yet come about. Afterwards, then I would know if the person hit or not. Right, so that is how you know a jumlatul insha'iyya. Right, it falls into ten different categories. This is true. The answer is true. Right, daraba zaidun al walada is a jumlatun ismiyatun, jumlatun insha'iyatun, jumlatun fi'aliyatun. None of the mentioned. Daraba zaidun al walada. Right, daraba is fi'al mada, fi'al madi. Right, zaidun is the fa'il. And the file is always marfur, always takes them al walada. And the walada is the mafurun bihi, it's always mansu. Right? Inshallah. The answer is. The answer is C. It's a jumlatun fi'aliyatun because it begins with a, a fi'al. Okay? Now. La'alla limtihana sahlun. Is a jumlatul khabariya, jumlatun insha'iyya, jumlatun fi'aliyya. None of the mentioned. 
جملة خبرية جملة إنشائية جملة فعلية It is not a جملة خبرية It is not a جملة فعلية So it is a جملة إنشائية Because as I said لعل So here is a hope You are hoping I hope or hopefully The امتحان is going to be easy Hopefully The امتحان The examination is going to be easy Okay So um, There is no Nothing truthful yet about that That's something in the future Futuristic. So it's a jumlatun in sha'iyya. The answer is B. Al imtihanu sahl. Al imtihanu sahl. The imtihan is sahl. You know what is sahl, right? Sahl is the opposite of sa'ab. Is a jumlatun ismiya? Is a jumlatun in sha'iyya? Or is it a jumlatun fi'aliyya? There's none of the mentioned. Right? It's a jumlatun ismiyatun. Okay, because it starts with an ism, and the ism is the ism that the starts is called al muqtada and that says always marfu. The khabar is always marfu also. So we have three things right here that are always marfu. Now, actually, four things. Zaidun is the file, always marfu. Sahlun is khabar la Allah, right? We said inna wa akhawatuha. The muqtada, the first ism. Is mansub the fatha because of inna or la alla la alla limtihana and it's khabar sahlun here in this case is always marfur because inna and akhwatha only enters upon a jumla to ismiya it does not enter upon a jumla fi'aliya so that is the the second case of ism being marfur then Al imtihanu sahlun the mubtada and the khabar are marfur. Okay, they are marfur. Inshallah, and we're going to do the rest later. Inshallah. Okay, we're going to complete that. Seven. They masculine plural go means they masculine plural go means yathabun yathabna yathabani tathabun. يذهبون يذهبنا يذهبان تذهبون. How did we go here? It is which one of them here? The answer is not تذهبون. تذهبون means you masculine plural go. It is not يذهبان. This is dual. You two go. It is not يذهبنا because يذهبنا means they feminine plural feminine plural go. يذهبون means they masculine go. So the answer is. A. Okay, how did we do with that exam? Inshallah. I guess we should be doing well, inshallah. Now let us go here. Tathabu means either you masculine singular or B, she goes. You masculine singular go or she goes. Okay, true or false? Tathabu. Is it true or false? You know the answer? It is? Answer is A. It is true. Okay? This is the only form with the tathabu for the singular for both you and the third person feminine. One, it has one form. Right? Tathabu. Dhahab is the verb. We add the ta, alamatul mudari ta to it. Tathabu. Right? And the, um, the last letter always takes a dhamma, inshallah, on the board. Except if it is weak, then the dhamma is there, it's called qadr. The dhamma is understood to be there. Alright? Um, but it is not there. It means either you masculine singular go, or she goes. This is true. Okay? Yeah. Is had is heavy is habu there are only two other forms in this it is fa'al madi are all fa'al madi are all fa'al al mudari are all fa'al al amr none mentioned or not mentioned right it should be not mentioned we should change not mentioned right is have 
اذهبي اذهبوا is فعل الامر هذا third right C متى ذهبنا تذهبنا تذهبون ذهبتن ذهبنا تذهبنا تذهبون ذهبتن متى يعتبر المعنى بس لزيارة المدير يا إخوان It is not ذهبنا because we are talking to إخوان It is مخاطب They are only um, and the مخاطب here has to be it has to be masculine plural ذهبنا is a feminine plural so if it is what it was, ya akh, ya ya it would have been tazhab. But it is ya ikhwanu, so that is tazhabuna. Dhabtuna is it can be because this is also past tense for the um, felmadi, for the feminine second person plural. Okay. And tunna, dhabtuna. The answer is B. Okay. Um, lima la whatever yadhabu tadhabu tadhabina dhabat lima la ila almatari ma'ana ya abbasu lima la tadhabu yadhabu tadhabu tadhabina dhabat is supposed to have a tonnet لما لا تذهبوا تذهبوا I'm talking to one person this is the masculine singular we had this up here see the mas you masculine singular لما for what reason لا you are not تذهب uh, going إلى المطاري to the airport with us so the answer is C أبي something something is missing here يذهبوا تذهبوا تذهبوا نذهبوا أذهبوا أبي أذهبوا نذهبوا تذهبوا يذهبوا We're talking about one who is غائب إلى المصنع 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 is the um, is the factory في الساعة العاشرة in the tenth hour at ten o'clock right he أبي يذهبوا the answer is D, right? Because you're talking about something that is God. He's talking with his father. His father is not there. Aina, we have to put in one of these words here. Ba'da dersi ya ikhwani. Right? Aina, dhahabta, ya dhabuna, dhahabtum, dhahabu, ba'da dersi ya ikhwani. So this is, the, an address, you're addressing people. So anytime you see ya, yeah, it is second person, right? Now you have to assess what it is. Is this plural? Okay, this is plural. Okay, it could be singular or plural, plural or dual. Okay, so if it's singular, you use a singular form, right? Then you have to understand if it is masculine or feminine, right? In this case, it is masculine. Okay, um, aina, zahabtum, okay. Zahabtum. The answer is B. It is not Zahabta. Zahabta is one. Zahabtum. It is not Yadhabuna because this is um, this is third person. And this is for Ghaib. And this is third person. And this is uh, Mudari and this is Mahdi. Zahabu is Mahdi. Okay, how did we do there? Inshallah. Kha and and غين خاء غين originate from أدنى الحلق وسط الحلق أقصى الحلق none of the mentioned خاء غين خاء غين and you should try to pronounce these letters خاء 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 غين originate from أدنى الحلق وسط الحلق أقصى الحلق 
Aqsa, we know Masjid al-Aqsa means the farthest mosque, right? Farthest Masjid. Aqsa al-Halq is the farthest part of the Halq. Wasit al-Halq is middle of the Halq. Adna al-Halq is the topmost part of the Halq to the mouth. And when you're talking, when you're speaking with Aqsa and Wasit and Wasit and Adna, we are talking from the mouth. The closest to the mouth, the farthest from the mouth, the middle. Well, the middle has no problem, inshallah. But there are only three positions, right? Kha and, and Ghain are A, right? Um, oh. Anyways, both Kha and Ghain originate from the root of the tongue in conjunction with the soft palate. Both, both Kha and Ghain originate from the root of the tongue in conjunction with the soft palate. True or false? Three, Wasat al Halq. From the Wasat al Halq originate Kha and Ghain, Hamza and Ha, Ha and Kha, Ha and Ain, Kha and Ghain, Hamza and Ha, Ha and Kha, Ha and Ain. <coughs> okay, so we're going to answer these. Inshallah, the answer for this one is A. <coughs> it's Adnal Halq. It is the closest, the Kha and the Ghain originate from the closest. I don't know if we did this right, but I think we did. But we're going to revise it in here, Justin. Both Kha and Ghain originates from the root of the tongue in conjunction with the soft palate. The Kha and the Ghain <coughs> from the root of the tongue, right? So that's why it's important to know all these parts, the different parts of the tongue. Because we see even the root, the root takes a, a play an important part in the pronunciation of these two letters, the Kha and the Ghain, right? Wasat al Hawk, where from it originates Ha and Ain. So the answer is C. Okay. Now we have number four. We have Mahdi, Mudari, and put aside your books. You shouldn't be having your books, right? Um, to check the answers on this. Anyhow, Huwa is Mahdi. We are doing the verb Zahaba, right? The answer is the Haba. Means he went. Okay. Home. Home. The ha. It has to have the ha. The haba. It has to have that inside, right? <coughs> but this one is the habu. They went. They masculine plural went. See if you can write in the answers. Anta, this is easy. Zahabta, Zahabta, you went, right? Masculine singular, because as I said, for the masculine singular, you add in a ta behind it, ta fatha ta. You, took, you take the ta from here, from anta, and you add it in. And the same thing here, antu, antum, it will be Zahab, all of them have sukun, right? Zahab, tum. Antum tahabtum means you <coughs> you masculine plural went. Okay? You masculine plural went. Then we have Anna put it in. Anna the hub two. And I have to. I went. Okay? I went. <clears throat> Nahnu. These are the ones that are most popular. That's why I put them up. Nahnu. Zahabna. Zahabna. Nahnu zahabna. Means we went. Okay? Okay, we go to the Mudari. The Mudari. Alright? Same. Hua. This is not the Haba anymore. This is Mudaria. Hua Yadhabu. Yadhabu. Means he goes. Hum Yadha. Because it has to have the Ya, right? For the third person, the Aramatul Mudaria is Ya. The sign of Mudari is Ya. First letter on it, the letter that is added is Ya. Right? We're going to get the, the others just now, inshallah. Except for one case, which is Tadhabu. 
Hai. Hum yadhabuna bi adi waw and nun at the end. Now, so this is easy to form. Hum yadhabuna. They go. They go. They are going. They went to zahabu. Right? They are going is yadhabuna. Okay? Inshallah. Then we have anta. Anta tadhabu. This is the alamat al mudari for the mukhatab. The mukhatab is the second person. The ghaib is the third person. Right? Huwa hiya hum. Hunna. Huma. Anta. Anti. Is. Um, antum. Antuma. Antunna. Is the mukhatab. Second person. Anta tadhabu. That is. You masculine singular go. Anta tadhabu. Antum. Just like this. You add a wow. This is tadhabu. You add wow, add wow and noon to it to get the masculine plural. Antum tadhabuna. You masculine plural go or are going. Right? So we know the alamat al mudarib for the ghaib generally. For five cases, it is yeah. For one case, tadhabu. Right? For it, and that is for the feminine singular. Here, tadhabu. Here, tadhabu. Right? She goes. Now, for the mukhatab, for the second person, it is ta. The ta is added. And that's for all six forms of the, um, the mukhatab. Okay? It's antum tadhabuna. Hum yadhabuna, antum tadhabuna. You must be plural. Ana adhabu. I am, I am going or I go. Right? Nahnu, nahnu, nadhabu. We go or we're going. I mean, so, you know, brothers and sisters, this, this verb, this, you know, the, the, the thing that I gave you to memorize, please do. Please check it out and memorize it, inshallah. Okay? Um, yes. Anta, this is for the family. Kalama, right? Anta, ithab anta. Ithab. Okay? Go. You go, masculine singular, right? Go you alone. Okay. Antuma. Antuma is Id Haba Id Haba. And Antum. Antum is Id Habu. Id Habu. You all go. You all go. Id Habu. Okay? So this is like a kind of a test, Alhamdulillah. I hope we. Um, understand it, inshallah. These are the most active forms in the Quran. So these are the ones you have to learn, inshallah. The masculine, there is, there are some sem uh, feminine forms in the Quran. I mean, lots of feminine forms, but not as much as these. These are the most popular ones, inshallah. Notes relating to the two letters of the truth, Kha and Ghaim. This is from the closest point. The two, the two of them originate from Adn al -Hab. The last two letters which are pronounced in the upper part of the throat that is closest to the mouth also need practice to achieve a correct pronunciation. Now, why these all of these six letters, the ha and the ha and the hamza and the ain and the kha and the ghain, they need they need practice is because the English language does not have any of these letters in it. Okay? It does not have any of these letters in it. So that is why it needs lots of practice. Kha is often mispronounced as a ka. You know, many people say it's khalid, and it is not khalid. It's not khalid. It is kha, khalid. Right? However, the ka is kaf. It emanates from some other part of the mouth. Right? The calf, it does not is not pronounced in the truth. Okay, so that's important. Rain is many in many times is pronounced as a G. That is incorrect. One way of finding the articulation area of this particular letter is by gargling. The song emitted with a deep gargle is close to the Arabic letter Rain. Okay. That is what indicates, right? Because, all right, but that is really where it is, inshallah. Okay, the farthest part of the truth, that not help. As you can see, it is here, and this is the pronunciation for the rain. Notice, let us um, 
This is the position of the root of the tongue. This is the root of the tongue here, along with the soft palate, as we said, right? The soft palate. See, this is a soft palate here. It's called a uvula. The uvula. That's that piece of flesh that is hanging down from your mouth, in the back of your mouth. The two letters, Ghain and Kha, have their origin here, right? This one is Ghain, okay? Notice a description of the makraj of Ghain. The Ghain originates from the root of the tongue along with the soft palate, like this, right? Ghain, Ghain. Notice that the point of pronunciation does not close. Notice, if you notice here, if you look at the at the, um, the place here, you would notice that it does not close in pronouncing the rain. Rain. It's open, right? It's open. Listen and try it. As I said, rain. <laughs> Listen for the garble. Rain. Okay, so inshallah. Then we have the hardest part of the throat from the mouth, Abn al Hal. Later, a description of Makhraj of Al Khau. There's a type of a grating sound. Look at the Makhraj of the Kha. Look at the Makhraj of the Kha. It is, notice the Kha is a little above the Makhraj of the Rain. It is a little above it. A little above. However, it originates from the root of the tongue along with the soft palate. The same origination. The root of the tongue with the soft palate. And again, it is open. Right? Notice it's open. Right? Point of the pronunciation is also open for the kha. It needs to be pronounced gently without any excessive pressure. Kha. Kha. No excessive pressure. Just gentle pronunciation, inshallah. Ah. Ah. Kha. Khi. Okay, so you have to work on it. These letters have to work on. Now, let us go through this. See if you can get all of this, inshallah, right? This is very important for you. Look, revision of all forms. Amadi and Mudari will amal. And I'm bringing all forms because you need to know all forms, inshallah. So these are the patterns you have to know for the past tense, a fail al madi, b the present tense, a fail al modari, and c the fail amr as a command form. The additions are highlighted in red. The haba. Oh, it doesn't seem that it is red. One was best. Oh, the habat. Here, the habat. Anta, the habta. I did this for a particular reason because I said that the ta plays an important part in, in all of these. The, 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 the four singular forms. And the hab ta, anta. Anti, the hab, ti. You should know that. Ana, the hab, tu. Huma, huma, the haba, the haba. Only the ayat is added there. Right? Huma, again, this is feminine. I should have put something to indicate femininity. If the haba ta, Dhahabata, right? It is the same Dhahabat, but an Aleph is added to it, right? Just like an Aleph is added to Zahaba. Zahaba, an Aleph is added to it, so it becomes Zahaba. This an Aleph is added to it, but because uh, because before the Aleph in a word, at the end of a word, right? Um, generally, even, it, even in regular, in the middle of a word, generally, or it always, the, the letter that comes before it always takes a fatha, right? Zahabata, can't take a sukun. Antuma, zahabtuma. Antuma, zahabtuma. Tuma is added at the end, right? Zahabtuma. That is what is so nice about this, is the mukhatab. You know, it, you drop the, um, the fatha, place a sukun, and then you add, Tuma to it, exactly what you have there, right? And that is the only form for the uh, the mukhatab, because both the the, the ghaib and the both the muzakkar and the muannas. I'm talking about ghaib. Both the muzakkar and the muannas, they have the one format only. They have tuma. 
Okay. Then we have Zahabu, Hum Zahabu, Hum Zahabu, and the Alam, the, 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 and all of this here. See all of this? The Ta, the T, the Tu, the Alif, the Ta, the Tuma, the Waw. They are all the Fa'il. They are the Fa'il. Right? They are the Fa'il. Hunna, Zahabna. Right? That is noon. It's called noon and niswa. Niswa has to do with nisa. Okay? It has to do with nisa. So we are talking about nisa. Zahabna. Hunna zahabna. Antum zahabtum. Antum zahabtum. You add a ta. The ta and the mim at the end. You drop off the an. And you just add zahabtum. Antunna zahabtunna. Nahnu zahabna. ذهبنا هو مدارية الآن هو يذهب هي تذهب أنت سملة تذهب أنت تذهبين this one is the hard one if you're going to speak Arabic and you're going to speak with your daughter or your wife you have to know this أتذهبين إلى أتذهبين إلى المسجد معي يا زوجتي are you going to the masjid with me, oh my wife, or ya binti tathabina? Ana athabu. Huma, huma, and this is 40. And these both are the same thing for both of them. One formation is yathabani, right? Yathabani, both of them. The reason that we differentiated it here is because for the past tense, they have two forms. because. Um, for the third person, this does not affect the fa'al amr. So the only thing that's affected here is yad, yad habani, yad habani. Right? Yad habani, yad habani. Antuma, antuma, tad habani. One form, right? One format for both masculine and feminine. Hum yad habuna. Yad hab here is huwa yad hab. The plural we said, ad waw and nun to it. Yad habun. Hunna, yad habna. Hunna. يذهبنا أنتم تذهبون أنت تذهب أنتم تذهبون يعدي واو النون أنتنا تذهبنا لك يذهبنا بط ديا يشتغل تا أنتنا تذهبنا نحن نذهب نحن نذهب as you see there are four alamat المضارع يا أم يا is one تا is two Alif is the Hamza, not Alif. Hamza. It's Hamza, right? Not Alif. You have Ya again here. Ya again. Ya again. Ya. Ya. Ta. Ta. Anun. Right? So that those are the four alamas of Mudari. Ya. Every single one of the Mudari has one of these four alama. These are the signs of the Mudari. Alama means sign. Right? Ya. Ta. Alif. Anun. Okay. The final, um, final category here is the فعل أمر إذهب أنت إذهب أنت أنت إذهبي نون drops right the noon drops it's called حس the noon حس 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 the noon right so we have to go to the this one here تذهب تذهباني right it's going to be إذهب إذهب the noon drops off this is also, this also, um, it's has for noon, right? The noon drops. You see all five of these? This that have been, right? One, two, three, four, five, right? I'm going to put a, a tick next to them, right? This one here. Tazabin. Tazaban. Yazaban. Yazabun. Tazabun. They are called Afalu Khamsa. They are called Afalu Khamsa. The five Afal. When you do, you see they don't have a Dhamma like this. They don't have a Dhamma like this, right? 
like in this case, like here, and that have we don't have Dhamma. It is marfu with the noon, with the noon. This is marfu with the Dhamma, and mansu with fatha, and madzum with sukun. All of these, all five of these, right? And all four, yeah, five. Yet habu, that habu, that habu, al habu, not habu. They are marfu the Dhamma. You know, they 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 are marfu the Dhamma, mansu with fatha, and madzum with sukun. They they fail mudari is never maju, right? But for the rest of these, these five that have the noon on it, and this is included too, right? But this is, because we're calling it one really, because of the, um, it's the same thing like the, the next one there, right? Right, this, this and this, these two are, these two are the same, inshallah. Yet Havani, right? They are marfur, the thubut and noon, with a fixed noon, the noon is fixed on them, okay? And they are mansub and madzum the half the noon. Half the noon means the noon are dropped. Okay, we will deal with that, but I'm just showing you the forms, right? And there are two others. This one here. Yadhabna and Tathabna are Mabni. Okay? The rest of them are more up. So six armor four B these six, right? And they are mansub, the no drops, inshallah. Okay? So, idhaba, then we have one more here. Idhabu, idhabu, and then we have here, idhabna. I don't know if I, oh, I put it in here. Idhabna, idhabna. This one is just dropped, just it drops off there, inshallah. All right. So let us um, just continue quickly and see what we have here. Practice. The shakla, the diacritical signs are fatha, kasra, dhamma. Right? And the letter. Okay. So we have akh, let's pronounce, let's read quickly. Akh, kho, khi, khu. Akh, kho, khi, khu. Ihdina, Ihdina, we have Aleph, the, the Hamza here, and the, it's pronounced like a Hamza, right? And the Ha, Ih, Ihdina, Ihdina, Allahu, here we have Hu, and we have the Aleph here, right? Allahu, it comes from the bottom of truth. Allahu, Ihdina, both our originates from the bottom there together. La, Aleph, ilaha, ilaha, deha, illallah, i, 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 illallah, ah, ah. Check it out. It stretches a little tiny bit, the ayn, right? And then it stops. It doesn't go on. Ah, you don't say ah, you know, ah, it's finished. It's unlike ha, ah. Uh, right, the the, the the throat is open for the ha, but it closes off fully when the um, when the epiglottis, the epiglottis is that part which covers over the the esophagus when the food is going to pass down, um, it opens up, and when the ear is going to pass through, it closes off so that the ear could go to the lungs. Amazing piece of creation by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Uh, it keeps open, right? Yeah, you don't have to pronounce it that long. But the ah, the ain, you say ah, ah. And we go to, there's a rule in relation to the tajweed that we're going to show. This is one of the characteristics of the ain. Ah. And notice the, the hamza and the ain, because they are both, they have they're both their origination and the truth. You have to be careful. And many people make a lot of mistakes, right? So let us read this quickly. Abdun in the Supposed to be in the right here is not in dun in the in 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 the abudun ah ah hamidun hamidun muhammadun muhammadun okay now I want you to read I want you to read these three 
with these three. If you find that you are saying, ah, I don't want you to read Hamza, Hamza Fatha, ah. just read ah, e, u. Many people make the mistake here. They say ah, e, u also. Not correct. It's ah, e, u. Ah, e, u. Very important to pay attention to that. Same thing here. Many people say ha for the ha for um for the ha right ha he who they say ha he who and they don't differentiate and they say ha he who for this also right? it's a common mistake right but the ha is not as emphatic as the ha and more ear comes out for the ha and the ha originates in the middle of the throat while the ha originates from the bottom of the throat the bottom of the of the of the throat just above the vocal cords ha he hu ha he hu ha he hu then we have ra ra ri ru kha khi khu ra ri ru kha khi khu let us read them all together a i u a i u ha he who are you ha he who are he who are he who okay inshallah then we have ah 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 this is ah this we have ah ah ra ah ra okay inshallah we are going to um we're going to just do this last slide, inshallah. As as sukun are going to be practiced with the three mad lengthen letters. Okay, the alif of mad is preceded by a letter with the fatha. This is the alif of mad, right? This is the alif of mad. It's preceded by a letter with a fatha. So we are doing the short letters, right? A, ha, ha, a, ra. Okay, let's go it again. A, ha, ha, a, ra, kha. Right? A, ha, ha, a, ra, kha. Notice both of these letters are elevated and wrong and have a wrong wrongest sound, right? Kha, kha. Okay? We're going to deal with that inshallah next trimester. The wow of mat carries a sukun preceded by a letter with a dhamma. The wow of mat, this is the wow of mat, the wow here in the mouth color, right? As you can see, we try to put we should put a different color, but that's how it is in the book. Right. The wow here is the wow of mat. So it carries a sukun, even if it's not written. Right? And it's preceded by a letter with dhamma. So it's ooh, two harakat. All of these are two harakat, right? You can't give it less. You can't say ooh. And you can't say ooh. That's incorrect. Unless there is something to move it like that, to carry it, to change the state of the mat. Ooh. Hoo. 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 Okay? Ooh. Hoo. 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 Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, inshallah. Then the final one is the ya of mad carries a sukun preceded by a letter with kashra. Right? This is the ya of mad. All it does not have a sukun, right? It's a ya of mad carries a sukun. The sukun is understood, right? By a letter preceded with kashra. So the letter comes before it is tas kashra. So it's he, it is he, e, e, he, 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 he. Okay, so this is what you have to practice, inshallah. And um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. And I hope, brothers and sisters, the, the makharaj of hope is very, very crucial to pronounce. Very, very crucial to practice, okay? Very important. The makharaj al-haroof and the mat. See, 
these the, the Arabic is very precise, so inshallah, you know, pay attention to it. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. Saturday we are going to revise a little bit more, inshallah, and Sunday, inshallah. And from Tuesday, um, we're going to start with our uh, with our Arabic, uh, Ramadan Arabic sessions, inshallah. <laughs> okay? Now I said Tuesday was the, um, yeah, Tuesday we're going to start with our fourth session for Ramadan, inshallah, the fourth session for Ramadan. So invite your friends. And when we post the video, post it with your friends so and your brothers and your sisters, inshallah. So that inshallah we can all benefit from that, inshallah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to understand the value of this important language. May He bless us to uh, reform upon it. Keep at it now. Now that we are in this situation that we are. Right, if you have now completed an entire trimester, alhamdulillah, you made it, which is very, very good. Mashallah, you did well. Okay, just stick it to it is good enough. So, may Allah bless all of us with patience and the fortitude to continue and give us the best in this world and the hereafter and save us from hell. May Allah reward all of you for sticking. May Allah reward all of you for sticking with the program, inshallah. And we hope that it's going to be beneficial for you in Ramadan. Subhanakallah, wa bihamdik, shalom la ilaha ila anta. أستغفرك وأتوب إليك وجزاك جزاكم الله خيرا